This is the Galaxy Buds Pro and I've been using it for 6 months. How does it stack up against the AirPods Pro and other high-end AirPods? This video will tell you all about it. If you plan on getting the Galaxy Buds Pro, use the link in my description. You'll find the most up-to-date prices and save money whilst I open the channel out. Who doesn't love to save money? The build quality on this thing is nothing to mess about with. I've had the Galaxy Buds Pro for about 6 months without a single scratch on this thing. I chuck in my laptop bag along with other metal appliances such as my calculator, my SD card reader and just a bunch of different random stuff to be honest. Samsung really nailed the build quality on the Buds Pro. Opening the case does not feel anywhere close to being flimsy even after 6 months. It opens and closes as satisfyingly as it did when I first unboxed it. When opened you can see that Samsung includes a padding at the top of the case. This padding absorbs some of the kinetic energy it creates when closing the case, which in turn prolongs the longevity of the Buds Pro. If you're this far into the video that means you're enjoying what you're watching so sub to the channel will be really appreciated. The outside of the Buds Pro's case is made with a matte finish, which unlike the AirPods Pro will give you a better feel and grip when holding the case. The Buds Pro features two LED lights on the case. The LED lights on the inside of the case gives you an indicator of how much battery you've got left on the Buds Pros themselves, whilst the LED outside the case gives you an indicator of how much battery the case has. The Buds Pros are IP7X rated which means they can withstand a substantial amount of water, whether it be rain or sweat or even when your Buds Pros fall into a puddle. The fit of the Buds Pros aren't the best of the best, I still think the AirPods Pro feels better in my ear but something I'm still not understanding is why Samsung got rid of the wingtips. Those wingtips definitely provided some stability to the AirPods and made them less likely to fall out. Saying this doesn't mean that the Buds Pros fit terribly. The sounds the Buds Pros produce is something I can guarantee will impress you. Firstly, it sounds miles better than the AirPods Pro. Like, honestly, I can't even wrap my head around how bad the AirPods Pro sounds after using my Buds Pro for about 6 months. This is not me being biased at all because I still use high-end AirPods from other manufacturers. But I don't know it's a major dip in sound quality. They still sound decent next to my Galaxy Buds Pros but the AirPods Pro just isn't on that level. The AirPods Pros are louder than the Galaxy Buds Pro but not by a lot. I don't know about you but I'd rather have a great sounding speaker than a louder average sounding speaker. My brother has the AirPods Pro and when I got my Galaxy Buds Pro I gave it to him and even he admitted that the Galaxy Buds Pro sounds a lot richer and fuller than his AirPods Pros but just a bit quieter. I used to work in a warehouse and the Galaxy Buds Pro were loud enough to the point where audio wasn't an issue. Pair this with the awesome active noise cancellation from Samsung and you've got a beast in your hand. That active noise cancellation is not a joke. It works extremely well in blocking out background noises when I'm writing scripts or doing university work. Even when I'm working in a warehouse with loud machines. The ANC keeps improving with every software update Samsung brings out. It still isn't on the same level as overhead headphones but that's mainly due to there being a much better mechanical seal to the outside world. How does the ANC of the Galaxy Buds Pro stack up against that of the AirPods Pro you may ask? The AirPods still have better ANC but it's so minimal that you really notice a difference unless you're looking for it. When comparing both I had to really focus on picking the difference out. Transparency mode on the Buds Pro is really great, it does sound very robotic and can do with some improvement but it's still extremely usable. Samsung also has a feature where the Buds Pro is filled with sensors that can detect when you're talking due to the movement of your jaws and automatically turn on transparency mode. When you don't talk and it turns of transparency mode and put your music back to its original volume. Samsung's ecosystem is on par with that of Apple's right now. All they need to do is make it a more seamless experience. Whenever my Buds Pros are connected to my Book Pro 360 and I get a call on my S22 Ultra, whatever I'm watching on my Book Pro 360 gets paused and it automatically switches to my Galaxy S22 Ultra. When the phone call is done, it switches back to the Book Pro 360 and I can continue listening. That's a great example of seamless connectivity. The battery life of my Buds Pro has been excellent. I only need to charge the case once every two days. I leave my Buds Pros on with ANC in my ears all day because I'm always working trying to pump these videos out for you guys so if you can hit that sub button that's going to really be appreciated. Hitting that sub button is going to guarantee you high quality tech content to win win. My Galaxy Buds Pros last at least 5 hours with ANC on before I have to put them back in the, ca in the case and even with 5 minutes of charge you can get over an hour of listening. This is because they come with fast charging. You can charge the case of your Buds Pro using a USB-C wire or wirelessly. This is great for convenience. Watch this video here to see my initial review of the Galaxy Buds Pro. It's going to be really relatable to you because you have a similar experience to me. Use the link in my description to get the most up to date price of the Buds Pro and you're going to save money. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, link in the description or just type in Tech with Tech. And I'll catch you in the next one.